Now let's talk about bad start and bad end. So these two methods here are used whenever you want to pad a string, your original string, with another string to reach a given or a target length. Now for the syntax, you want to call pad start on your original string and then pass in the target length. For example, your string length was 5 and now you want to pad your string from the start till it reaches the target length, for example, 10. Now, uh, the second parameter will be your pad string. So this is the string you want to pad your original string with till it reaches the target length. And the same syntax goes with pad end here. Now let's go and see some examples. So I have here a string ABC. Its length is 3, so 1, 2, 3. Now I'm going to call pad start. I'm going to pass in target length, 10. Now, because I didn't pass the second parameter patch string, the patch string here by default will be a space. So now my ABC string here will be padded from the start till it reaches the target length 10 with spaces. And this is what will happen here. So my ABC string now will be padded from the start using a space because I didn't pass in patch string here, the second parameter. Now it's gonna keep uh, pad in the string with the same pad string, the space, multiple times till it reaches 10. So this will keep happening till my uh, string reaches 10. And now the same thing will happen with pad end, except this time the pad will happen from the end. So my, my string here ABC will now be padded with uh, spaces from the end till it reaches the target length 10. Now let's go and see an example where I pass in a patch string. So I'm gonna pass 10 as the target length and then foo my patch string. So now my ABC here string will be padded with foo the string or the patch string. And now because my string here didn't reach the target length, which is 10, so we have here just 6 for the length, this will keep padding my string with the same string multiple times till it reaches the target length. So this will go and pad the string again with the same pad string foo, and now my string here reached uh, 9 for the length, so we still have one, uh, just one character to to reach the target length 10. So in this case, we're just gonna go and pad uh, the string here with the first character of pad string, which is F. And that's the resultant string. Now the same thing goes for pad end. I'm gonna use the same arguments here. So this time it will be padded from, from the end. Now let's go to another example where I pass in a long pad string here. So if my string, original string, was padded with this string here, it will go over my target length. So in this case, what pad string will do, it's gonna go and truncate this uh, string here. So in padding our string ABC, it will reach 10, the target length. So now I only uh, pad the string ABC with one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Without the the last character here, eight. The same thing goes for path end. Uh, the difference it's gonna happen from the end. So it also truncates the string, the path string, to reach the exact target length. Now for the last example, I'm gonna use a target length that is less than the original string length. So here we have three. 2, 2 is less than 3. So in this case, what pad start will do, it's just gonna go and return your original string. The same thing goes for pad end, when you use target length less than your original string length, it's just gonna go and return your original string. And that's it for pad start and pad end, let's move on to the next method.